All right, guys, we're on the ninth commandment. And I even have the plant here to make everyone feel kind of happy and safe. Uh, that's what they do on most of these Bible uh, study and videos I've seen. So I have the plant here for you guys, okay? Uh, this one is very straightforward too. However, its execution becomes difficult. And we'll, we'll talk about this just a little bit. These are very straightforward. Thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor. So basically, most people would interpret this to being lying. Thou shall not say stuff that ain't true, okay? It kind of goes beyond that. Um, a lot of times, people don't understand that they're breaking that commandment when they're gossiping, okay? Gossiping is hearsay information where you're just talking smack about someone with the, you know, usually like the picture would be the ladies, you know, quilting over down in the basement in the corner, you know, gossiping about, oh, I heard so-and-so did this. And they're sharing information where they did not actually witness the event, but they were still talking the smack. So they were bearing false witness against whoever it was that they were complaining about or, or gossiping about. So gossip falls under the category of bearing false witness. It's not, lying is like an outright absolute, like I know the truth, but I'm bearing false witness. However, if you are talking smack against someone or making claims about something someone did and you were not there to actually witness that, you are bearing false witness. You're, you're making statements about something that you weren't there to see. The witness is the guy that was there, okay? So that's a big, a big deal too. And the way that used to work in the courtroom back in the day is that if you would accuse someone falsely based on hearsay or pretending like you saw it and you actually didn't really see it, you just suspected of them, of, you know, of doing something, and you would bear false witness pretending like you actually saw it, and then they got the consequences from the law, you know, for like doing whatever crime it was or whatever, you know, bad deed they had done. And they receive a certain amount of judgment or punishment on that deal, right? If they would catch you bearing false witness, okay, which nowadays is under that perjury category, like lying on the stand is like the most worst version you can do of that, right? But if they would catch you actually falsely accusing someone to the point where they're punished and they found out that you were the one that did it, their punishment, every amount of punishment that was coming to them now comes on you. And that's the way God operates too, man. When we have to go and sign out and check uh, in, in with him one day and he's going through the books and it even hits us here on this planet too, guys. I mean, it, it's not like you get away with it on in life either, okay? All this stuff comes back on us it's called karma, the concept, right? Like if you're continuously like talking smack, bearing witness, making up stories about someone and you didn't actually hear it yourself and you go and you talk smack and then there's peripheral consequences of that. Like if I all of a sudden like, you know, I think so-and-so is into this deal and I'm going to go and uh, make all these claims about him. Now this is a hard one. We're all guilty of this to some degree, okay? If we go and make that judgment and actually cost them something, right? People lose respect for them. People will think something about them that isn't true. And so that deals a serious crime and is something that is like should not be done, okay? So it's, it goes beyond lying. It's just if you weren't there to actually see what happened and you cannot claim to be a witness to that deal, okay? And if they actually get it straight from the horse's mouth, okay? Like someone that actually saw it who was a witness to something, okay? And so one thing that is another interesting concept of not bearing false witness, and I've been trying to do this, it really occurred to me, I suppose 15 years ago or so, that I would bear false witness against myself in terms of trying to pretend like maybe I had my stuff together more than I did in life, particularly around the pressure of church people, okay? So if you're hanging out with church Hannity and the all kind of peacock and posture, and uh, I mean, really, there's a lot of scriptures where God doesn't like that stuff. He does not like a proud look. He doesn't like people pretending like they're cool because they're not, okay? But we're always tempted to kind of keep up with everyone else. So like, okay, I got my suit on and my tie and like you go there and oh, wait, I'm acting very differently than I normally would for the rest of the week, you know? Because here now I'm bearing false witness against myself. And people will like, I don't know, get a tattoo on their arm and their grandma might be mad at them so they'll hide it, you know? It's like, dude, if you did something, like don't bear false, don't lie about yourself. 
Or like, for example, I mean, a lot of times it would be business-wise, wise for me to pretend like Mr. Super Polish guy, blah, 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 right? This is, you know, and, and, con and conceal certain realities, dude. I, I quit doing that a long time ago. Like like 15 years ago, I decided that ain't, that's just too much. There's too much energy going into trying to maintain something that's untrue. And so I remember, I think it was 15 years ago, I was hanging out with some cats that had real high standards, right? And so I was just exhausting myself trying to keep up with whatever their worldly standards were, right? And I found myself like running myself so thin and like just on edge the whole time. It was exhausting to even have fellowship with these folks, right? Because they, oh, you know, stiff upper lip, like you can only talk this way. You can't say a naughty word over here or whatever. And I am who I am and I'm still a project in progress. And if I don't display who I actually really am in terms of my character and stuff like that, they're going to make a misjudgment on where I'm at. How are they going to be able to take a look and offer advice and help and pray for a guy and stuff like that. And so I just remember one day I finally said, you know what, dude, I started acting like me and I'm like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing anymore. And those of you that have met me know that basically what I project on here is kind of sort of how I am like a big loud goofball, whatever, you know, uh, try to sense of humor and all that stuff. I mean, it's mostly pretty much true. We all have our issues. I don't like to hide those issues you know, I, th I don't think it's productive in terms of our personal, you know, stuff that people would normally super conceal, you know, in terms of like their personal character flaws or whatever. I just lay it right out on the table as best I can. You know what I mean? Now, of course, in business and certain jobs, like if you're under a non-disclosure agreement or if there's certain stuff that, you know, you got to, there's certain stuff guy don't talk about, right? But in terms of yourself, never bear false witness against yourself. Otherwise, no one will be able to help you out, okay? And if they can't deal with who you really are, well then, why would you wanna, why would you wanna choose to have company with them anyways, right? What's the point of that? So <laughs> be yourself, even if it's not polished. Even if it's being honest with where you're at. Like if there's an issue that you're struggling with, and you can seal it, it just grows and festers and rots and then it just continues, you know? And a lot of people are encouraged by the world to hide that. I say, lay it all out on the table. Like people are so cryptic and trying to hide stuff and it's just like, you know, it's like taking a vent that would normally naturally vent off and like welding it shut. Like, oh no, we don't want to reveal that there's any pressure inside the machine that might make people a little worried, you know? Dude, like that's unhealthy. So don't bear false witness against other people. You have to have firsthand information before you tar ta uh, start talking smack about somebody. And don't lie about who you are and your own personal conditions by acting a certain way that you're really not, okay? And so that's my best commentary on the simple commandment of thou shalt not bear false witness. <laughs>